Hello everyone. Well, you see, this is today's drawing exercise. It's very challenging. It is a difficult drawing, I must admit, but let's go for it. Now, what I normally do, I will squint my eyes on this particular painting. It's a painting and see um, the shadows. Look, they somehow, it's a, roughly they're separately separated on, on the right and you've got the right well on the left you have the um the light here so head you see that that dark or that shadow which just runs through all the through all the left right hand side yeah so let's have a look and see if that's a possibility there because obviously you have the hands and you have hands and um, um, kneecaps, everything being thrown out there. And the um, the ballerina shoes, I'm not sure how they, uh, what would, the shoes, let's, let's say the shoes, well we know what we're talking, they're not really shoes but you know. The ballerinas type. I need to find out what, how they're called. Okay, there you are. The huh? that foot here. This is her left foot and right. Trying to get again, as I said, to get the shadows going on there. That's the kneecap. Then you have the other kneecap here and um, elbow right here you got the thumb hand the structure of a hand here Let's a bit closer hand structure elbow as i said earlier on and you have hand here and that's the lower arm line there there you have it now you have that elbow here and that massive shadow if you squint your eyes you will see that that's like a triangular shape look all of that so what I'm saying basically is that all this area it's a triangular dark well a shadow triangular shadow it's not a, it's a well it's not a perfect triangle obviously but it is it reminds more than anything a triangular shape together with a hand just put it there then you have all the shadow here the shadow on from neck to so that line which is in my view here no actually it's a mistake that shadow here that angle is right on her right knee right on the right knee uh, on the right knee not right on the right knee uh, on the right knee here then you have the chin coming through this way then you got dark lines uh, the shadow here head head at this stage at this point I will just shadow it will be easier so I'm trying to decipher what's going on just through the shadow shapes and light that's what I'm actually doing this is that area here but also the background is very very dark as well so a dark darker tone i could start again just by doing this look why not do it again okay let, let's do that so what i'm doing is basically separating again 
the shadows from the lights. So you got massive shadows coming through from the from the right. And if you see from from her chin lower down, there you are. A vertical line here. See? So let's say that the chin is here. Got a vertical line. And that will cross me. That will cross here to the right foot. Left left foot here. Left foot. Then you got the other part of her. Um, foot we have the light highlight here then you have a beautiful side of her where it's all lit it's a right arm right arm right arm uh, this is her light, light on her kneecap. You got shadow here. That's her left kneecap. Then you have arm moving crossing from one side to the other then that's the hand here and you got the arm coming right here just moving this way then you have an area of the arm right here there there you are and um, lighter that part here coming now to the chin to start and get some shape of her face see that line here that's the from the cheek to the chin cheek to chin nose structure and you got the eyebrow and the eye lip upper lip lower lip and the chin itself okay and then you have the hair hairline ear and elbow I will push it up to that point no um, not elbow this is her um, shoulder really not elbow and up here that's a shadow shape of a nose, of a uh, neck, neck, and you got. I'm highlighting the, the uh, that top light here on her upper shoulder. And bring back that hand, which is possibly a little bit too large there, or had gone too far on the right, or so I was thinking either decrease that or bring the shoulder a little bit further on to the right here. I still need to do both. Decrease that in size because it's quite large. And bring the shoulder a bit more towards the right. And you got the elbow. And the... And that's the, her left foot, sorry, shin, not foot, shin. 
elbow here elbow and the lower arm hand dark shadows here okay uh, well she's looking a bit of a gigantic lady here with that massive shoulder so I need to do something about that because it looks uh, well it looks quite large at the top now there are two things either poof push the head further up to look and I think that's the best thing to do push the head further up so bring the chin up there will give her more more neck as well so larger head larger head and that will be more suited to the new design and neck here that part See, that makes the shoulder more palatable here. Let's put the kneecap where I'm, what I'm thinking of doing it. Okay, well, that's wrong because the kneecap cannot be there. The kneecap needs to follow that shape. See that line? Pop, 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 pop. Needs to be brought, be brought right here. A shadow, the kneecap itself. Um, shadow in the middle here then you got the shin 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 down here and the shadows down here Tutu or dress, not too involved with it. Now I'm more I'm treating it more as a shadow than anything else. And the elbow, the elbow needs to follow this one. That's the elbow with the upper arm here. Um, foot. The shin of her left foot here shadows of the the dress dark dark shadows which they bring the foot forward really mm -hmm. um, So bear in mind with this drawing, it will take you many, many attempts uh, as it will, as is going to take me many attempts to, to get it right. Because as I said, there are too many things going on here. You need to follow the kneecap as it appears up here, where it goes down, where it follows down here. So it continues, there you've got that line, that line right here stops here then you got you have the hand her left hand right arm squint in my eyes and that becomes one shadow see as I said earlier on that triangular shape here look see trying to simplified a little bit because it's quite complicated mm, that's shadow all around here
as we said earlier on, bringing up the head, eyebrow, eyelid, nose, upper lip, lower lip, and chin. Now I think I need a little bit of putty rubber here to clarify to clarify things, what's going on, what's what, basically. Again, squint my eyes and see that beautiful light. Yeah. Hmm. From the light part of her neck. And you have the kneecap here. Kneecap. And then you have Um, the thigh coming right up here, thigh, and the shadow here of the thigh here, right here. And dress, obviously. Kind of a half tone on the right, on the left here, sorry, and on the left. Um, Patty, Patty again, because I'm devi deviating. If I drop a vertical line from the forehead, we'll go right up here. So if the forehead is here, the forehead needs to be here then. Forehead, nose, so all start let's start again forehead tip of the nose and chin chin just keep it light keep it light and i'll come and do now the features again see how many times it moved already three times well, it's my mistake, obviously, but I should have noticed that from the beginning. But as I said, be prepared to go over it many, many, many times. There's no need to finish it. You can do a sketch this week and then you can progress to the sketch next week until we get it right. There's a shadow around her head. Mm, cheek, chin, head, uh, neck, uh, head, neck, collarbone, mm, upper arm, upper shoulder. and possibly give her a little bit more i could afford now to use that previous line do you remember that line that i've done earlier on of the upper arm i can because i've moved the head more towards the left i've raised i've raised it quite higher than substantially higher than from where i started that gives me now the right to use that width of the shoulder because it's in proportion it's more proportionate that way than before because the head was lower I could not make the shoulder too big keep that in mind if you make the shoulder too big it will look disproportionately large at the top or yes on the upper body Here. And you have a line here. Now that's the with oh god patty rubber with white. I've just left the patty rubber and it took white paint here. Sorry, I need to find another patty rubber. Oh, patty rubber and white paint. 
not a good combination. Get another putty. That part of the, the that light on the shoulder here, upper arm, highlight here, neck. Bring that cheek up here, chin down here. Here, use the putty, warm it up like this, just open it up like that, and bring highlight here, which is that lighter on the upper arm. Then you have the thumb here, thumb right here then highlight of the upper mm, upper what's that um, el what was that uh, Kneecap. Kneecap. It's difficult to find words when you're working actually, it's hard. Okay, trying to be a little bit more precise here with the highlights that I'm doing. She's blonde, so I'll put that highlight here all around. Um, possibly a bit light on the neck. Or oh, that. That line here is beautiful. The dress coming from the neck right here. There. Another line here. And the kneecap. Kneecap. Look at the highlights on the kneecap. Beautifully. Being described beautifully on the neck. There we are. Kneecap. Um, what else? Uh, hand of hers. Sorry, I'm jumping from kneecap to the hand, but whilst I'm here, whilst I'm on this part of her body, possibly starting in highlighting a little bit more here. Oh, that highlight here on the upper arm. And then that line becomes one with the dress. See that line becomes one of the dress, just moves. And then we have the um, bone structure of the hand, upper, well, the upper part of the hand, the bone structure. That is softer here, softer, 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 there. And then highlight here. And then kneecap, sorry, uh, kneecap, um, elbow, look, from the chin, vertical line straight to the elbow. From chin to the a straight down line, and it goes straight to the elbow. So chin to elbow. Then that highlight of the muscle. I don't know in anatomy what that muscle will be named. And um, collarbone coming through this way here. Her dress is all white. Her thighs 
always white well it's bright here because it's where the, the light illuminates the file okay now you have the upper hand here this is all gonna flower be hard to describe that in drawing. It would have been easy if I used colors here. Uh, now, squint in, your eye, squint in your eyes, you will see a dark patch with highlights of the shoe. Again, I need to find out what that shoe in the ballerinas is called because I know it's not shoe. But I'll find out. I'll check it on Google later on. Uh, so a dark line or a dark patch all around. And then we'll hide some highlights here. So one way of doing it. Well, first of all, I need to bring that structure a lot more to the right because there's something wrong here with me on my drawing. That foot needs to go way there. Yeah, I've just noticed it. Okay, so that, what, do I, what do I mean by that? I mean, drop a vertical line there, look. From the kneecap, the highlight of the kneecap, look. Just go down, 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 and you will see the root the foot needs to be brought here not where it is now and the lower as well there we are and then uh, then A dark, dark line, which will connect, will connect me both foot. Um, dark line here. That's a dark half tone, and also the dress is a lot darker than that. So the dress, which is around the foot, it's a lot darker than the skin tone. I'm trying to emulate the, the you know the, the dress how the dress moves about here and also now so this this foot is connected to that. So that's the shape of this foot. And that foot, her left, is coming down that way. There you are. And shadow, 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 shadow. And also around the foot. You've got a lot of white dress here. It's not only white, there's a grey tone to the dress as well. Okay, grey tone to the dress. Now a little bit more a bit wider here on the shoulder. I could afford to do that, give her a bit more upper arm here, look. 
bring it back. And coming back and highlighting that here. Softer, softer, soft, flesh tone around you, softer. And highlight. Bring it down, bring it down that then softly move it with your fingers like this. Create a nice rounded form. Half tone, tone structure, uh, chin, chin, um, and cheek, not chin, cheek at the top there. Uh, let's go back and do some portrait. Start with the eye, look. I don't actually see the eye. Well, I'm trying to see, not that I don't see the eye, of course the eye is here, but trying to see the form more than anything else. A dark form. Nose, moving up a bit. Upper lip. Lower lip and the chin. Everything is soft though, everything is blurred. There's nothing sharp. So keep that in mind. When you come and do those lines, you have to go through them with the fingers constantly to lose the uh, to lose the the line, because of look, look at that. Look how softly that comes along here. And here it just goes, disappears. The lines of it just go blurred completely. Forehead. Upper lip and come back with all those dark half tones here. Very, very dark half tones. Hair, cheekbone. Cheekbone. Look, at the end of the day, if you find it too complicated to work on, just do parts that you would find more interesting. Let's see, you can do you can do that. You can you don't have to do the whole image. Look, you can do that. You see? So you can do the drawing this way. Hmm? You can cut it here. There's no need to go further. I'll give you the full version, but you don't have to go all the way to the foot. You can stop wherever you feel comfortable or wherever you feel that you don't want to go any further because it's just getting too a lot of headaches with the design of that, but it will be a choice that you will have to do to make. So there is no need to finish it off. Okay, just to be. I'm I'm seeing it. There's a there's a there's a difficult pose, very difficult actually. To draw, it's not that you cannot do it, but it will take you hours. So be patient. And a little bit darker here. And coming back with some more dark side. There. OK. 
Okay. It's coming back and forth. Upper hand. A bit wider here. Yeah. A bit more flesh around here. But it's not actually a line, it's more of a half tone, you see. So I need to darken that too. So it's not the line itself, it's it's just dark, the whole thing is darker. Then you have shadow here, then you have the elbow. And the dress is a lot lighter. So the elbow here and the dress a lot lighter there. But also that line or that shadow continues here. Okay. And I need to raise or to increase the size of the of the hand here, the width. It looks like it's quite small, so let's make it a little bit a lot bigger. And dark here. Dark here. And then you cup there. Um, dark in between the knee cups. Yeah. Um, highlight on the, as I said, I'll find out how they're called, but they're not called shoes. Keep an eye on this one. Look, it's not, look at the light on this. See the light there? It just moves right into it. And not only that, but also the crossing between the laces here. And the yeah, so. Okay, I'm going to have a break. I'll come back. Go and have a refill the coffee. I'll come back in two minutes. Sit, sit, sit. Go sit, sit, sit. Good boy. Okay, sit, sit, I said. Sit. All right. Let's do now the, the shoes. Highlight here. And the highlight in between the laces, as I said here. Right. 
and the one here, this one, that one there. And somehow a little bit lighter, the shin. Okay, you wanna go out? Go, go. Go. You never want, you never know what he wants. Anyway. The hand. And here. On the structure, and then that shadow here coming through. Now, before I do that shadow, I better go and make that sharp edge here. It's really, really sharp. And then that goes right to the bone structure, shin, her shin. There we are. Then a little bit dark area. Hmm. Those two darks are very similar in value. So that's why I'm darkening as much as I could there. Now she's wearing a white dress, see, so that's a white dress. I don't know if you can, you can see, yes, you can see there's that bit here. So I'll leave that and then flesh down. Then you have the, the upper, oh. Yes, of course. I've just, well, I didn't notice now, but I, I had that feeling, but I didn't actually see it to measure it up. This elbow, sorry, elbow, I mean, that shoulder, it's higher than that shoulder. So her left shoulder is higher. How did I not mention that before? I have no idea. There you go. All dark here, all dark around there, mm -hmm. and then maybe going a little bit further with this elbow here, making it a little bit there, just bringing it. Huh? Exaggerate the elbow. The, the shoulder has gone a little bit further up, but it's it's okay. I like it. I like it better to go further up than what it was before. It's not as high as what I've done here, but it's better this way than not having it. So a kind of exaggeration is fine. A little bit of exaggeration, not kind of, but a little bit of exaggeration here and there, you know, it's all good. No. Highlighting on the shiny shoe and reflection of the shoe onto the floor. A dark liner all the way. And the highlight here. Flesh tone here. That's a flesh tone. And the darkness of the shield. That is also very dark. Pr 
bring that bone structure a little bit lower. That part of her thigh is a lot darker here. Okay, now I'm thinking of spraying, but before I spray it, keep in mind you need to, because when you spray it, we've said it many times, the darks cannot be, the highlights, the lights cannot be any lighter. So keep that in mind. I'll highlight everything I need to highlight now and then I'll spray it. And then carry on with a little bit of possibly contemporary. I'll see. Try with charcoal, and if it doesn't work, then contemporary. But as I said before, I spray it. Make sure you have everything which you want it light. Give it a light tone with a putty rub. I'm working on her flower, white rose. Hand here, shin, a highlight of the shin here, especially down here, around the rows, and her uh, um, bone structure here. There we are, and then get rid of that point. Highlight of the hand. Uh, clean my finger here and then get that a little bit lighter. It's not working so with the party then. There you are. Portrait before I spray it. Highlight on the upper eyelid. Nose. Forehead. Cheek. Cheek. It's such a small portrait, it's difficult to get it right. You have to be very careful with each and every touch because again it's very small surface and then I like here. Clean my, make a sharper edge on my charcoal, so I better get it sharpened here on the drawing. By keeping the charcoal on one side, I'm trying to create a sharp edge on the charcoal. So instead of using um, sandpaper, which I could, trying to clean it up here, it's not as good or it's not as effective as the sandpaper, of course. So a bit more sandpaper. Mm -hmm. And look at that, look at the sharpness of this. forth now. Highlighting the elbow a bit more. Highlighting the hand a bit more. Wider. Here you get it completely 
messed up with the background it's a lot darker knuckles bone structure here of the upper arm sorry that's the lower arm not upper Highlight, more highlight, or more light on the on the kneecap. Bring some higher, a bit more light here, and also a little bit of thumb. Let's go and work on the thumb a bit more. The thumb you have light at the top and a kind of half tone here. See that shadow created from the neck? There you are. And that shadow of the neck up onto the hand itself. And a little bit of darker, darker tonal value here on this. It's a lot darker than what I have already here. Get rid of the lines. I think I need to spray it now and carry on with more darks. I think it's good to go. Spraying it. Shin. And then shin. And shin here. Bone structure. Then there you are. Whiteness of the shoe here and have oh, the lace is down here. Okay, okay, okay. Got more dark stone. Let's spray. Spray, spray, spray. Move, move it many, many, many times until it builds up pressure. Okay, I'll leave it there. Give it a try. And um, I'll have a little break and I'll come back. Hello again. It was a little bit of a break. Now, what I've done here, I just broke my... I've realized that some Conte Apari pencils are really, really bad. And um, sorry for the Conte Apari. I'm not defaming them, but this is the truth. Some of them just crumble when whilst you're uh, sharpening them. And this is my almost my entire contemporary. I was trying to sharpen it and just could not get any um, bite of charcoal or compressed charcoal here. So it's almost rubbish. Some, not all of them, some of them are very bad and you cannot make it to work. So I've just took some of the bits that they were thrown away like for instance this one and then uh, some paper did here so I'm, I'm forced now to work with these which I'm not sure if it will work but I'll try now going back to the drawing 
Uh, what I will need to emphasize here, I've just sprayed, you remember I've sprayed that. So a bit of darker, increase the darks here. And it's not doing it properly, so I'll try and do it with the... See, what I mean properly, I mean that uh, those lines, if they stay there, they will look like a scratch. So I'll try to use the stump. That is slightly better. Also here, you got the shadow which get mixed up. See the shadow of the kneecap? And then it goes right to the, the hand as well. And I could work and make that hand a little bit darker. Emphasize the bone structure of the hand itself. Here is very dark. This is the shadow, cast shadow of the arm upon the shin. Then you have thigh, a bit more, dip it onto the counted dust. At least the dust is all right. And um, so what I'm artificially bringing up here is that I'm Wherever I have very strong light, like for instance in this area, all this area there's a very strong light, look. Mm. Now what I'm thinking of that, if I concentrate on that side, then softly that side will move back onto the background. Take some dust contour here, and then spread the contour above the shoulder. So I'm trying to move, as I said, push that area more into the background. And trying to also, see I went too dark there, but it's fine for the time being. I can use that dark and then move it down. Low here, down there. And the Chin, background, darks a bit more, emphasize the lips, the upper lip. And the background here. See again, by using the contour, the dust of the contour, well, the broken pencil basically with other words. Um, you, um, just use a lot of s made it uh, you know by using the uh, the sandpaper just a lot of sandpaper there and making it in millions of tiny pieces All right, so I'm increasing the darks here artificially because it's not that dark here. Maybe not as dark as that. I went a little bit over the top there, but just keep it a little bit lighter than that. And then, as I said, let's move the darks around here. On the left, let's concentrate with the darks on the left. Knee cup, very dark. Dust. Then you have hair. Very dark hair around here. There you are. And that went like a dark patch here. I think I've darkened a little bit too much on the face, and that was a mistake. It just went a little bit heavy handed there. So going back with the putty and yes, keep some darks, but not darken it all the way. Okay, now I'll try and be a bit more gentle this time. Take some darks from the Conte and use the brush. See, it's a little bit more accurate with the brush. I can see where it's going. 
I can have a little bit a little bit more control with it. And just darken it a bit more. That highlight, get the darks going on here. All around the arm, the upper arm. And moving that foot a little bit lower here. So not up here. So that shiny part of the shoe, a little bit lower, down here. Darker, move those darks here, just make a patch of darks there. Uh, the line, the, you know, the um, floor, just bring it up a bit more. flower here and that's the bone structure of a hand possibly it will be better to use the conte the broken conte and unfortunately i don't have any other conte left so i'm that's why i'm using the little broken one And you have a little bit of sheen, sheen here. Now it goes a little bit darker there. Use the sheen a bit more, which is that part. Um, now, if I squint my eyes, I'll see lots of darks around the foot. There you are, and loads of um, part of the veil or the dress that she's wearing. bit lighter lines or darker not sorry not not lighter darker lines around here but as I said I will try to keep that area soft and you see I got a little bit too much involved with those lines And as I said, dark, all these darks here on the dress. Spread it, spread it, spread it with a putty, uh, with a stump, putty later on. Again, I don't think I need to go any, any darker on this. But yeah, it's basically, um, see this? See that angle here? Shoulder. To shin, look this one. It's like a straight line from sh from shoulder to shin. So this is what I'm doing here: shoulder to the shin here. But for that, I better push the dress up here. That's it. There, that's better. And then the flesh down here. Although it's a bit lighter there. It's lighter, lighter, slightly lighter here. There, that part. Which is a reflected light coming from her dress onto the shin back, basically. And the highlight of the hand. 
to the sheen here and try and use a little bit of a darker stronger rubber the mono mono zero type so very dark rubbers very strong rubbers that's the white flower the white of her shiny part of the she Oof, I forgot I had a dark here. I had a dust. Okay, 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 okay. Push it back. I have a dress. A little less, a little less sharp. Line here. Bring back those edges. Maybe not as strong. And some It's, it's moving too much on the front. Uh, the, the paper is just moving towards me, basically, a little bit more. Just floating around. So I had to stabilize it with the tablet. Then you have, as I said, the, the dress. A little bit of cast shadow on, on this part of her cast shadow here which is that line here on her kneecap many things to work on but to be honest because it's I don't want to do a, a, an extensive study extensive study of it don't want to you know continue for hours and hours here so Let's start and prioritize our goals here. Closing my eyes, swing, squinting my eyes, and I can see a little bit lighter, brighter here, brighter here on, on the arm, brighter here on the hand, the bone structure, of hand bone structure. And uh, let me see if I can bring back a little bit more charcoal here. I mean, willow charcoal, not the content. Cool. Again, dropped it. Okay. Oh, I can't take it. Keep going. No, let's start on this. Nah, using, using the content and now using the charcoal again. Not a good combination. Although I can still come and do some sharp darks here, but it's not advisable. Once you use the Conte, you carry on with the Conte. The Conte is unforgivable. It doesn't cooperate with other materials. No, it's not doing anything. Try again. Some parts, okay, some parts. This is the darks around here. This are the darks around here. On the... Between... Shoe and... Floor. Reflected. Reflected light. A little bit of lines to highlight her, her hmm. what are these? 
places possibly not sure how they call it and then you have the, the floor here the reflected light on the floor okay Whew. what else can I use a bit more Comte again possibly To be honest, I have enough with Conte on parts of it, but I can possibly use it here. Sharper edges here. No, I cannot use that with my fingers. I need a, a pencil here for that. Which is impossible to create a pencil here. It's just not. I lid, eyebrow, and then a little bit of lines here to create uh, the, the, the ear, and a bit more hair, just give her a bit more hair, just more fancy hair. To justify this. To justify the the big shoulder here. We have knuckles. A bit more knuckle bone around here. Now I've gone too dark, but I actually should have gone not so dark there. It's a mistake because that area is where her dress is really, really showing. There. And also, also that helps us to identify where the elbow goes away uh, turns not goes away turns up and then you have those those you see with that strong rubber that's called mono zero the mm, rubber mono zero you can buy from Cassartes you can ordered online it's a good rubber you don't have to have it but if you like it just makes a difference especially when you've already sprayed it like I've done here and then some highlights of the dress it's not a tutu that that's a dress actually a dre it's an actual dress and you have the highlight here as I said, I want to keep it soft. I want to keep it muted. I don't want it to come towards us. Some vaguely lines coming around here. That will help. That will help this area. Just to create, I want to create a very neutral background here, like it is there. But there is with color, I'm just creating it with putty. Well, in this case, with a strong rubber. All right. Now, you lose that line, that very, very bright line. I don't have to have it in front of me. Also lose the line between the, the dress and the, sh uh, the knee cup. Round a bit here. And a little bit off. There we are. Eyebrow, eyelid, tip of the nose. I'm not concentrating too much on the portrait. I don't have a, a thin pencil to go there. Contest. So I'll leave it onto that a little bit, just primary mode there. Just a little bit of highlights, a little bit of cheekbone, and that will be enough for now. But yeah, I'll leave it there. No content left without the content. And the, as I said, the, uh, the charcoal wheel of charcoal will not do any different. Will not make any impact at all. Some highlights here on the hair. 
As I said, she looks blonde. Well, she's blonde. So try to create that light hair color. And maybe I'll use a little bit of contour up here. Hmm? Just for an impact there too. Yeah, that's good. Lose that hand here. It's too strongly put there. I think it's better to lose it and put it, push it back. Uh, as I said, class, do not use you might you might want just to cut that drawing here and use that you see so top till there do not use if it's too much for you if it's too complicated just use this cut the drawing there as i said and use that if it's if you have too many things to do cut it and do the things that you are more interested in but be prepared, it's a very challenging drawing. Just lose those lines here. <laughs> that line there. I know it's not that invisible there, but I like it to do it this way. I prefer it that way. And also lose or create a bit more light right at the shoulder here. Again, maybe I can come later on and do that, like for instance now. Not really, I mean, yeah, just a tiny bit, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. And the highlight at the top of the forearm. A bit more light on the knee, knee cup, knee. Um, Knee cup here, yes, knee cup. And a little bit more. Wow, how I lost this. Forgot about that. You see, I told you, so many things going on there. Cuff, cuff, cuff is, well, it's here, really. Hey. So let's put it into the place. Just not to forget about the cuff. And yes, she's got a bit thicker cuff here. <laughs> all right everyone i think that's it what's the day today 20th is it 20th yes 20th okay I will see you on the next one then. Fiddling now. That eyelid is very, very dark. Just cannot get rid of it. This paper, just when it takes the contact, it just absorbs the contact like sponge. And I cannot get rid of that. No. One of those things. Anyway.